Hello everybody, just doing a quick video on how to bind and set fail safes with a Spectrum DX3S radio. It's a very easy and simple process, so if you have any vehicle that you wish to run a Spectrum DX3 radio in, i.e. any low C vehicles that come from the factory with their 2.4 Spectrum radios, just a plain Jane low C 2.4 radio, it is a spectrum, a spectrum style radio. This radio can be bound right to those vehicles if you decide you rather use a spectrum radio versus the stock radio. Now the spectrum can't be bound with any uh, 2.4 radio, you know, like uh, you know, Traxxas, HPI, uh, Futaba, Tactic. All those vehicles that have the 2.4, unfortunately, you, you can't bind directly to those. They have different binding processes. Sometimes they work. But if you want to bind, the, re the receivers aren't that expensive. You don't have to hit the high-end one with the telemetry. All right, enough of that. To set the, tele to set the, I'm sorry, the binding process, it's a very, very easy. All you would do, I'm sorry for my camera's out of focus. I'm using my iPhone. Can't really focus in. Figures as expensive these phones are, you can't focus in for crap. Anyhow, you get the basic idea. All right, you would unplug your bind wire. Your, your sorry, your main power wire. Disconnect that, and disconnect your steer wire. The reason why I disconnect my steer wire is because number one, you're not going to really set any fail safes through your steering, so it would really be setting fail safes on your auxiliary and your throttle. Never, ever, ever power up the receiver for the last three ports, a lap temp and RPM. Those are your telemetry ports. Main, they're only meant for 3.3 volts. If you power the receiver up through those, you will cook your receiver, and it's done. So not only will the bind process not work, your receiver will no longer work, and you won't be very happy. All right, so what you would do is take your power wire, plug it right into the steer, port okay take your binding plug I lost my binding plug so I made a binding plug out of an old uh, receiver lead or servo lead sorry just the middle wire you don't use just cut that off and just you know uh, pigtail the two wires together and it's a very quick and easy way to make a bind plug if you lose your bind plug so plug that guy right into the bind port now what you would do is you're going to turn your truck on. You know you're in a bind position because your, your receiver flashes rapidly. Turn your radio on. Hit the scroll button twice to get to your menu. Scroll down to bind. Hit bind. Hold full throttle or hold full brake. Go to bind. Hold it in. Don't let go. Disconnect your bind plug. Close your box, and now when you lose it and use signal, you'll go full brake. Turn your radio on, and you're fine. So if you ever get out of whack, you're always going to have brake. You won't have a runaway ever again. It's a very simple, very easy, very effective way. Also, you can control that. If you decide you don't want full brake, you can set it to only have half brake or quarter brake or, or whatever you want it to do. It's very, very, very simple. It takes literally 30 seconds to set the binding procedure. Just remember, when you're done, to take the bind plug out as soon as you're done. Because if you don't, it will go back and you will have to rebind all over again. Not that it's hard. It takes like five seconds. But you don't want to have to constantly do it. So just make sure the second it takes, just pull that bind plug out. So it doesn't go into uh, uh, doesn't go into bind mode again. But uh, hope these hope this tip helped you. Uh, if any questions, please ask. Um, but again, I hope this was an easy tip for you and it helps you guys out. Uh, again, you can use this to set to bind the Spectrum radio to any vehicle that uses Spectrum technology. So if you're tired of your old receiver and you're sick of you know the the plain Jane look and you want this, 
takes five seconds to bind this to any vehicle. And again, you turn this on, and as you can see with mine, you can I don't know if you can see, but actually you can't see it all. So, but uh, the 10 model memory store the 10 vehicles in there at once. So very easy, very efficient, very fast way. Um, but again, hope this helps. Talk to you guys later.